What's up my environmental friends? This is KJ48 and welcome back to my Eco Let's Play. Last video we cooked and we mined and cooked a bunch of iron and we also made ourselves a blast furnace. This video we are going to make a room for our blast furnace and place that bad boy down. Now if you end up enjoying this video please remember to give that like button a little the old clickety click. Also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos. All right, so what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm at I'm at Dred's storefront. He's got two store thingamabobs set up because these things, these these store these stores, what happens is they they get full, and once they get full, if you try and interact with them, it kicks you out of the game. So he did set up two of them, so that's pretty cool. So we're doing we're doing some wheeling and dealing here. Basically, what we're looking for is charcoal from him. Uh, I can make everything else. The charcoal is the only thing I really need from him, and for 10 pieces of wood, sorry, there we go, for 10 pieces of wood, I get 3 charcoal, which is pretty good, because charcoal has a, charcoal has a fuel of 20,000 joules, that J is joules, by the way, so that is a really good amount of charcoal, so I went ahead and did that twice, I've got 6 charcoal, that's enough for now, I will be cutting down some more trees and doing some more uh, farming off camera to get more charcoal, but for now, we're going to go back to our base, and I'm going to show you what I've been up to. All right, hopefully this is uh, bright enough for you guys. But right here is going to be my blast furnace room. And you can see right here, it's going to be blue stone on the bottom or mortared stone. I'm still going to call it blue stone. I think it's a better it's a better name for it. And we're going to have brick for the walls. So let me see if I've got some, I do have some mortared stone around. I did bring back some from below. I've got quite a bit here. We should be able to build this whole thing. Some of you guys have been a little bit um, upset that I've been doing too much grinding on camera. Uh, you gotta understand though, this is a very grindy game, and that's just the way it is. Uh, I can't, like, I can't do all the grinding off camera like I do in a lot of other games, because it would literally be like, f you know, f two to four hours of grinding for one episode, and I, I, I don't have the time for that, unfortunately. But, I did do some grinding off camera here, and we are ready to build, so you will not have to deal with any grinding for this video. Now, at least not that much. You might have to deal with some, I'm not really sure. But, uh, I will try and keep it to a minimum as best I can, guys. Uh, you know, with games like this, I really enjoy this game, but, you know, it, it has all that grinding to it, and I'm going to have to play it as best I can, and if people don't want to watch it, they, they don't want to watch it. There's not much I can do about it. Now, this is the kind of game I could do a lot better if I was doing YouTube full-time, you know? I could do a lot of the grinding off-camera, because I, I actually do enjoy the game quite a bit, but, you know, there's only so much time in the day, wife, job, you know, there's only so much you can do. But I will, uh, I will make an effort to get, as, get rid of as much of the grinding as I can. I actually did a bunch of grinding uh, during a stream. I basically designed this building during a stream. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. People seemed to be into it. A lot of people who came to my stream have no idea what this game is. That kind of surprised me a little bit. I'm like, you guys here from my YouTube vi page? Or were you just like on... Like, I didn't understand how so many people didn't know what this game was. But I guess a lot of people watch me on YouTube and do not watch me play this game. So, what are you going to do? Come on, work with me here. There we go. This thing's full of dirt. We're going to have to... Even like, even, like, moving stuff around in this game is a grind. You know? Like, look at how you have to move stuff. There's no shift click. You know? There, there's that, but that doesn't... That doesn't work. Doesn't do anything. Um, so, there's no shift click, and it just takes forever. Even to move stuff around. Forget about mining or anything like that. Just to move stuff around takes forever. Um, but the game's in alpha... And they are working on it. What are you going to do? I mean, playing these early alpha games, we got to deal with this kind of stuff. It is what it is. Hold on a second. Let me take a drink really quick. And then we will get back down into the mine. And we'll grab some more materials. And we're going to build this up. This blast furnace will be ready to go today. Now, the idea of the blast furnace is you need a chimney on top of it. And I guess the idea is basically all the waste product, all the you know, gas and, and smoke or whatever is going out of the chimney, which is why I didn't put the blast furnace down here in my mine. Actually, I kind of want to start putting less stuff down here in the mine. You know, th it's pretty far for no reason. I originally made this mine because I figured I'd be finding ores underground, you know? <laughs> Silly me. I thought I'd be farming for ores, and then I could come down here in the mine and, you know, farm for some ores, cook them, work with them, get a bunch of stone, work with it down here, and it would have been a great idea. The problem with that, problem with that is, uh, there's no freaking mine, under, there's no, there's no nothing underground. They, they basically, the way you get the ores is you go into the seabed, and you just kind of, you like in a river, and you kind of like look for stuff, you know, 
in the river. That's basically that's basically how you get that's basically how you get ores in this game. So this whole underground thing is a complete waste, and I'm eventually gonna move it up above ground. All right, so we only need one stack of this uh, mortared stone. So I think the rest of the stuff we're gonna come on in here. We're gonna grab the rest of the stuff. We got a lot of brick in here. I think we got a lot of brick upstairs as well. Now this kiln or kiln kiln kiln. This kiln was going when I left. Let's see if it's done. Oh, it's not even done, huh? Man, it eats up a lot of power. Uh, we're gonna put some of these in here. And just I don't know one minute worth. Another problem with this game is you can't you can't uh, break up stacks yet, which is very very frustrating. To say the least, you know? You want to maybe put a couple pieces of charcoal in here? You can't do it. You know? Because there's there's no way to break stacks. Or so I've been told. And I can't figure out a way. I'm pretty sure it's true. Alright, let's get back upstairs. And let's get to building this thing. And, man, I don't know why it's... What time is it? Oh, it's 9.30. It just went dark. Alright, we got to get another brazier up, upstairs now. I think I'm eventually just going to move out of this mine. Actually, you know what? Yeah. We don't even use these damn things. Let's just take this. And one more. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a concerted effort off camera. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through this. But I'm gonna make a concerted effort to get out of this mine. I thought I had two brick oh here's the other one. <coughs> I never even liked the ones down here. Cause how often am I in this hallway? You know? And you put you put the fuel in there. Maybe you're making a video where you're only gonna be on for like a half hour, you put the fuel in there, it uses up all the fuel and then for what? It lasts like six hours or something with the coal. I guess I could put wood in there, but I guess the the ideal the ideal thing to carry around for fuel would be wood planks or whatever they're called. I forget what they're called. Not boards, but the wood. Um, there's a special name for it. It's the wood you build with, or it's the wood I'm gonna be building with. When I get back up top, I'll check it out. It's uh, it stacks. It goes in your inventory, so you don't have to carry it around ten at a time, and it's got a lot of fuel power in it uh, as a matter of fact i'll show you one second all right so here check this out i know i got a bunch in here so look at this uh yeah here we go lumber that's what it's called four thousand jewels it stacks oh no that's right you can't put that in your inventory okay i take it back lumber is not the end all be all because you can because of the way you can put it in your inventory boards is the end all be all it's it's it only has half the amount of fuel that the lumber has but you can probably carry a lot more of it around yeah so i can carry 20 right now so all right let's put these let's put these braziers down so you guys have some you guys can see all right so nine i don't know where i want to put them they could they do quite a bit they go quite a bit uh as far as uh, how far they light up, so let's see. Okay, again, I can't. Oh, 33 minutes for one board. Well, there you go. 33 minutes. That's all. That's all nighttime. Like you don't even need any more. That's the, this is the stuff you want to use for the for the braziers. No joke. One board. You got the whole night. All right, that is. Oh wow. That. Oh man. One thing I really love about this game is the light sources look fantastic. They really do. The lights in this game is, are just pff, just amazing. Just amazing. Why does this door open that way? I can't open it inwards. Alright. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some of this wonderful, wonderful lumber. We should have ate while we were down below. Yeah, I, I got to get out of that. I got to get out of the living underground thing. For sure. Anyway, we're going to put this down. And put the rest in there. We can't. Probably can't put the rest in here either. Oh, we can. Good. And then we're going to do is we're going to dig this up. Okay. Nope, I did not want to pick that up. The carts have been really good to me today. And I got to tell you, I think the carts being buggy is a latency multiplayer thing. Because I never have any problem with the carts. Uh, oh, oh. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. I never have any problem with the carts. Unless other people are on. So, I'm almost positive it's a latency thing. So, there's that. Alright, let's put down the floor. Alright, put this back in there. And there we go. Alright, let's put this bad boy down. So, this is going to go right 
here. Can I put it here? All right, guys, I have just come back from a nice outing in the woods picking huckleberries. <laughs> and I went and sold them all to Pam. I picked 180 huckleberries and sold them all to Pam. And you may be thinking, well, Cage, what the hell, are you, what do you need all that huckleberries for? It was like 540 uh, value. Uh, there's no there's no actual currency in the game yet, but they're going to add that. But right now, it was just that value. So this is what I got. Mainly, I got 45 pieces of tallow. That is a godsend. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I also got some sausage, some huckleberry pie, and camas bread. Keep this in mind, guys, if you're playing this game. Sausage, huckleberry pie, and camas bread. That's all you need. Okay? Just eat those. And... Just to show you, 340 skill points per day. Um, you get better, you get more skill points depending on the complexity of the foods you eat, and that's what Dread figured out. Now, the reason I love the uh, the tallow so much is because it allows me to make more braziers. So that is going to be really, really sweet. Uh, it's going to really help at night, and I'm very excited about that. I'm really glad that she, I've been begging her for tallow for the longest time. So. As you can see, I set up some chests in here, and we are going to go ahead and build this place out. I'm, I'm going to put windows in here. I'm just not sure where they're going to go uh, or how they're going to go. But for now, I think we're just going to build this straight up. And what we'll do is we will place the windows at a later date. All right, so let's just go ahead and build this. I want to I want to get this thing built because I want to start that blast furnace. Okay, so nothing in there, just a little bit of wood. So we're going to come out right here. We got another whole thing of brick. So now we're going to go on this side and start laying down a brick. That doesn't look right, does it? Nope. This thing is not correctly spaced. One, two, three. F oh, yeah, it is. It's five. It is five by five. I just didn't put the door in the middle purposely. So, and I'm okay with that. Some people get upset that I always put the doors in the middle. Like, why do you have to be so, you know... Not that putting the door in the middle is a bad thing. It's cool. But I kind of agree. Like, don't do the same thing all the time. You know, so I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do something a little different. I have no idea how to make roofs. That's one thing that I don't know how I'm going to make a roof for this thing. Now, I don't really think we need a roof roof, like a sloped roof. I think I'm going to make it more like a flat roof because it's like it's like an, it's an industrial building. So I think we're just going to make like a flat roof on this thing. But I'm going to have to eventually learn how to do roofs in this game. Uh, what? The, where am I? <laughs> oh, my God. Totally fell down on that one. All right, so, yeah, we're eventually going to have to do roofs for our main building. This thing looks like a goddamn mess. All right, do we have any more bricks up here? We do. We're going to have to go down for more bricks soon. And uh, we're going to need we're gonna need to, uh, you know, get on that. I'm going to make the roof uh, blue, the blue stone. So, I don't know how... Well, we need to make this thing pretty high. Oh, my God, we're going to make this thing high. Do I have to put a chimney on top of that? Hmm. The chimney thing, I'm a little... I'm a little fuzzy on. All right, let's just put this right here. All right. So we look in this thing. All right. Uh, blast furnace. Must be placed in a closed room. Okay. Create a room first. Must be placed in a room with 45 or above. Must may share the room with one other crafting table. Contained room must be built within 32 blocks of brick. This building requires one chimney. Place a brick chimney top on a stack of bricks connected to the table. Raising at least four blocks from the roof. Interesting. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to need more bricks. So, oh boy, are we going to need more bricks. So the roof is going to have to be bricks too? Hmm. Why don't we take a walk over to Dred's place and see how he has his blast furnace set up? I believe those bricks right there are his blast furnace. And it looks like he made his roof out of blue, out of blue stone as well. So, oh, I see what he did. Okay, let's go in there and check it out. I think I see how he did it. But uh, we're going to have to go in there and take a look. Let's see how he did it. Come on. God, this game. I walk so slow in this game. All right. Blast furnace is right here. Okay. So he's got it right here. And I guess the bricks are just connected to it. Now, the bricks are not connected on the top in any way. But I believe they're connected over there. Yeah, I think, the, see those bricks right there? The ones I'm looking at right there in the middle of the blue ceiling? I think those are the bricks that are supposed to be taking 
taking this stuff out for the chimney. Let's go up. Let's go take a look at his chimney. Can I get up on his roof? I, I thought I could. Let me see if there's a way to get up on his roof quickly. Oh, right, here we go. All right. So, yep. And there's his chimney. And I think that thing on top is the chimney you actually make. Okay. All right. I see the way he did that. All right. Fair enough. All right, guys, I've just gone down into the mine and grabbed some more some more brick. Uh, I also set up some more brick to be made. Uh, threw a bunch of stone in the kiln. Uh, threw a bunch of power in there. Should be going for quite a while. Next time I go down there, I should have a pretty decent amount of stone. And I've actually got a pretty decent amount right here. Oh, wow, I could fit five stacks in here. I didn't think it was that many. That's really good. All right, we're going to leave this spot right here open so we can continue climbing up. And we're going to go as high as we can. Uh, that's not really going to work. Let's take this out. And this. I'd like to set up the chimney first, if possible. Alright, so that's going to be one more higher. And the chimney could probably be right on the side there. Alright. We're not going to finish this today. But I'm hoping with any luck I will be able to finish it next video. Um, I'm going to really make a, a concerted effort to try and get this so much done for next video. All right, so how do we do this from all the way down here? There we go. That doesn't look like a chimney to me. I don't know how Dread looked like it did. Dreads looked like it did, but what else? And let's get these bricks placed down, get them out of our inventory, and then we're gonna grab some blue bricks and start on the roof. All right, so let's do that. And let's take a look at some blue bricks. Yeah, I know they're called Mortared Stone. I don't care. I think Mortared Stone is a stupid name. Even though that is their true name. But that's okay. I call them what I want. It's my, it's my building. I'll call them freaking Blue Stone if I want to. <laughs> Alright, so we got to get up here. So we need to... Alright, I think what we need to do is we need to put these in here. Let's grab one of these and place it right here as a stepping stone. And we're going to need one more. There we go. We should be able to step up there now. You know what this game needs in the worst way? Scaffolding. Right? I mean, I'm right, right? I mean, man, this game needs scaffolding. Alright, so, blue brick. Blue brick. Uh, maybe that needs to be... No, that should be good, I guess. I don't know. What else? Let's just do this across the, across the roof here. Go blue brick. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly how this works, but uh, I'll probably figure it out off camera. We'll just uh, oh, come on, put the brick down. All right, whatever. Let's do it right here. There we go. Put one right there. There. I kind of want the chimney to come up right right over top of it. I think that would personally look cooler too. Although it doesn't seem like it can. It doesn't seem like there's like one spot for the brick to come out over top of it. Let me take a look at this. Alright guys, I think I got the chimney the way it's supposed to be in order to work. And in the spirit of progression, I'm actually going to finish this today. In this sitting. Why not? You guys have been very patient with this Let's Play series. It's been very slow. And uh, I think it's time for us to finish a building. we got to do a lot more building too. I have simply not been doing enough building. So, let's uh, let's get some progression done, shall we? Alright, so we're going to do this. We're just trying to build the outline first. We're going to put on a blue roof. We're going to call it a day. I'm not going to do anything crazy with the roof. I'll I might come back and redesign the roof at a later date. We'll see. For now, I just want to get the damn thing built. So, let's put this up here. This game needs scaffolding in the worst way. You know what? Let's jump on the brazier. If we can. Here we go. There we go. Take that, brazier. Got to try and get something right there in the side. Nope, can't get it. Suck it, game. How do you like that? How do you like them apples? By the way, I thought I was going to run out of brick. I forgot I had a ton of brick in here. Because I was making brick for the wall. Which um, will be eventually be made. Will eventually be made. Okay. We might not have enough, uh, I don't think we're going to have enough blue stone for the roof. I might just do the roof out of wood <laughs> just to get it done or maybe out of brick. I don't know. 
I, I want the roof done, and I'm not going to wait for the blue stone because I don't even I don't even think I have a lot of it downstairs cooking. So I just want to get this freaking thing done today. So probably make it out of something else. Probably brick for now, I guess. There we go. There we go. All right. Oh, still have one more. Alrighty, there we go. Put that away. I don't think I have any blue blue brick down here at all. Let's take a look inside here really quick. Uh, nope. And nope. And there's nothing in here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make it out of whatever. Let's just get it done. I just want to get the damn thing built, and we'll replace. I'll replace it in between videos, or I'll do it next video or something. You know, we'll get the the roof is gonna be blue brick one way or another. So, let's go ahead and grab anything we have. Oh, we don't even have a lot of regular brick. That's okay. I need to make a walkway up there, and I don't want it being made out of brick. So, let's uh, let's get a walkway made. Actually, no, no. Let's get a... Well, no, let's get a walkway made. And uh, what can we make the walkway out of? Let's make the walkway out of wood. And we have a ton, just an absolute metric ton of lumber so let's get that roof done yay all right guys it's not pretty but we got the job done uh it is a little dark in here though so let me go ahead and put a brazier in here i'm not really sure where to put it i guess that's a good spot for it oops there we go and let's put one thing of let's put some boards in it one board is all we need there we go Nice and nice and lit up. Actually, that might not be enough braziers. I might have to put one over here. As you can see right here, I did make a staircase going up to the roof that I had to block off in order to seal the room. Uh, so we can get back up there and replace that wood with blue stone pretty easily when it's time. And as you can see right here, this thing's ready to rock. So let's see what we can make in this thing. All right, so we can make charcoal out of... Oh, lumber. Okay. Well, I'm start making my own charcoal. Thank you very much, Mr. Dread. Um, alloy smelting number one. All right, we got a lot of skill points here. So let's find alloy smelting number one. Well, that's got to be under smithing. Alloy smelting number one. Tool smithing. Alloy smelting. Alloy smelting number one. Okay. All right, so we can make charcoal. Then at level two, we can make steel. So we're definitely going right to level two. Level three. You don't get anything for level three? Okay, well, that kind of sucks. Uh, should we go for a charcoal burning speed? I think we should. Oh, those are 100 points each, huh? Steel smelting speed. Well, we should. Oh, my God, 250 points each. Uh, I'm assuming steel is going to take a long time. Reduces iron ingots. Cost? Yes. Okay, so we've got to go with steel smelting speed. And we will go with uh, steel smelting efficiency, which will reduce the iron cost. Oh, so they so these start off at a high cost, but they don't seem to go up that that much, that quickly. All right, so there we go. Let's go at fifty percent for that. All right, so now we'll use half of the iron ingots, and the speed will be a little bit faster. It's pretty expensive. Let's start relaxing on this stuff. Uh, should, how about charcoal? You know what? I'll wait for the charcoal charcoal burning speed. We'll see how bad it is, and then maybe we'll do something different at that point. Okay, so now what we can do is let's go. Let's make some charcoal right now. All right, guys, we are self-sufficient. We couldn't find any coal while mining. Who gives a crap? We'll just burn lumber for charcoal. That's pretty nice. What do we need for lumber again? I don't remember. Uh, lumber is just wood, right? Actually, I really don't remember. Uh, lumber is yeah, just wood. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. We'll, I'll get to work on that off camera. And uh, let's go ahead and go to our storage. Let's grab ten of these. And honestly, I don't really, uh, I don't think the speed of efficiency is worth taking, to be perfectly honest. We'll have to see how slow it is. Now, it does take power to burn this stuff as well. So you have to take that into account. But um, we can go ahead and make 10 pieces of charcoal. That is going to take 10 minutes. And how long, how many of these will we need for 10 minutes? Not that ma Not that many. Not that many. And do that. Yeah, that's not even that long. That won't even take that long. Yeah. All right. Cool. Actually, I think it's five of these for ten minutes. So that's pretty cool. 
It's definitely a lot less, that's for sure. So, I really like that. Okay. So, all right, what else can we make here? We can make corrugated steel. We can make corrugated steel roof. We can make polished steel columns. Polished steel, steel windows, rebar, steel. Rivets, steel rivets. Okay, all right. So what, I, what I'm doing here, guys, I will quickly bring you downstairs and show you what I'm working towards. You, you might have you might have gotten it might have gotten lost in all the hoopla, but I'm gonna bring you down here and show you what I've been working towards. Hmm. That's light coming through the top of that. That's pretty cool. All right, sorry, it's a little dark. Uh, I gotta get some braziers up again. But all right, so we're gonna come in here, and what I'm working towards is the combustion engine. And I'm going to need five steel plates for that. And I'm going to need pistons. Now, I don't know where to get pistons from. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, modules, combustion engine, mechanics, assembly, efficiency, reduces piston cost. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need pistons. i um, not really sure where to get pistons. Uh, do I make them in here? Maybe, maybe I make them in here. I don't know. Let's take a look. Uh, well, I really don't like... Oh, yeah, we do make them in here. We need more steel plates for those. Okay, so we just need a lot of steel plates. And I do have quite a bit of iron ingots. But the thing is, I can only carry so many. And I've got... Well, how many do I have? I think I have 40, 46. And I can only carry so many. I'll do that off camera. I'll bring, I'll bring the cart down here and do that off camera. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, the... The uh, blast furnace room is now complete, uh, but it's not fully complete. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the screenshot. I'll probably do blast furnace blast furnace room or something. But I'm going to redo this, obviously. Uh, I'm going to take the wood off the top and stuff like that. I'm just kind of thinking ahead for screenshots. Anyway, guys, we're going to call this one here. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, and I'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy.